All right, man. How are you guys? All right. Doing great. Doing good. Just getting off of work. Uh, I'm about to go wash clothes, man. But yeah, I just got off of work not too long ago. Oh, cool. Then I had to go fix my tire. It was flat. But we're back in business, so. Boom, man. Hey, it's just going to be us today, Eloy. Uh, so we'll, we'll, uh, We'll get into it, and, and we'll give you a good taste of, of what we do in these meetings. Oh, where's everyone else at? I had a few messages, uh, met up with some of them uh, at a different time. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. No, that's all good. Yeah, but but what we like to do at the beginning is just check in. Of course, uh, more than just free coaching, it's also a team accountability. <laughs> And it's also a place to be heard and to uh, to get support if you need support. Um, but the check-in is, is something to really good to start off with. It's a, a scale of one to 10. You give a number based off how you're doing in your life, how you're feeling, because uh, week to week it can change. But simply, like I'll go like this. I'm an eight. Um, I've been feeling pretty good because I'm getting over this kind of bodily nausea daily I've had I've had, I, so at a certain point last week I was thinking man am I gonna have to go to the doctor or something to I was just getting random nausea but I'm feeling an eight now because it's gonna go away and um I think Gus dropped off but he'll join us so other than that you know I'm feeling pretty great um I think I'm in a recovery mode I've been a little bit more tired the last day or two but you know I'm patient with myself so I give my time the rest have you, been... did you have any goals last week? I did, man. So um, it was to edit a podcast and to get my editor trained up and definitely got those done. Um, but that's my check-in. You know, you want to go next, Eloy? Go oh, there. Oh, I think you broke up there for a minute. Oh, that I'm complete with my check-in if you want to go next. Oh, sorry, I didn't really hear it cut off, but I think you were talking about uh, your editor, getting your editor to uh, help you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you do podcasts? I do. Gus and I. Oh. And Who? My my partner, Gus and I, and, and uh, we, we do some content like that. And um, But yeah, that was my goal. I was able to do it. Felt pretty good about that. Things are moving pretty pretty well. Oh, so you edit the podcast and then you, I guess, uh, put it out? Yes, sir. Oh, that's cool, man. You make money from that or what? No, no money on the videos. I think, you know, combined we get a, a few thousand views, but every thousand views, you probably get a penny. So. Oh, okay. So that's how you make money? Eventually. Then you'll get some sponsors and things like that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, no, well, my check-in was basically to wake up earlier. I don't know if you remember, but I wanted to wake up earlier last week. And uh, I didn't do too well. Uh, I kept waking up kind of late or on time. But uh, I started good this week. You know, yesterday I woke up at 5. Today I woke up at 5.30. Started going to the gym. And so it's I'm trying to keep it consistent, but it's always where – uh. I do it for a few days, right? And then you just stop doing it, and then you go back to your normal, uh, you know. Routine, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Can, can I ask you, Eloy, what, um, what, what was your reason for wanting to wake up early? Uh, you know, I just wanted to take advantage more of the day. Yeah, you know, I feel like I just yeah. go to work, come back home, and call it a day. You know, I don't really do anything else, and I just kind of – feel like my days are going by faster and I'm not uh, doing anything basically except for working. And, you know, it's not what life is about, but yeah, sure, that's, sure. that's one of the main reasons. Yeah. And so what, what would you do with that extra time when you woke up? Well, uh, like when I'm waking up at five now, um, I go to work at eight thirty, So I got like three hours. So I'm, uh, I'm going to the gym. I'm uh, walking my dog. And um, just having some some time for myself, you know, just to, uh, you know, 
do whatever, I guess. Awesome. Well, I, I love what you said there. We're going to come back to that uh, later in the session because that's going to give us some great content. Cool. Did you also wake up as early or? Uh, yeah, well, I I have, well, I can sleep into whenever I like, right? Because I, uh, I run my own business. But um, oh. I I tend to, now that I'm a free man, I actually enjoy waking up early. You know, I, yeah. I don't I don't like sleeping in too long. So the, the latest I'll kind of sleep in would be maybe eight in general. Really? But if, 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 oh, apart from if I'm out partying late, you know, then I'll be sleeping. Yeah, in, but, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, you know, if I'm, um, but but I have a rule that if I, the earliest I'll really get out of bed is five. So if I happen to wake up at five, five thirty, my natural instinct will pull me out of bed. I'll want to get out really? of bed versus I'm driven. But but we'll come to how I I literally condition myself to do that, and um it and I've I've done it through the brute force. I used to work a paper round. I used to work my first job as a twelve year old was working a paper round, and I used to wake, have to wake up at four a.m. every morning. And literally drag Jeez. myself out of bed through discipline to do it. Yeah, but, but it we'll, takes a lot. We'll get back to the difference between being pushed out of bed and being pulled out of bed. The two very different energies, but we'll, we'll come back to that. Cool, um, shall I complete my chicken salsa and then we'll um, come back to today's topic? Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, I'm so grateful to be here, whether it's two, three, whether it's five of us. Yeah, I'm just excited that we're here and we can check in, you know, because this helps me grow so much as well and helps me stay accountable. So can you, do you have your thing up there to check on my goal there, Salsa? Yes, let me pull that up. So while Salsa's doing that, my... Sorry. Plan oh, got it. today for 10 minutes. Okay, cool. So... I'm feeling at about nine this week, feeling great. I think I'm a bit more established here in Bali. And um, and I think the planning, I didn't do it the day before every day, but definitely when I planned, my day went a whole lot better. So anyway, have we, so have we all done our chickens now? Yes. Okay, cool. So before we set our new goal for the week, right? I'm gonna. I want to bring this idea to you, Eloy, because this was a game changer. Oh, by the way, Sol says it's all right if I maybe go on in depth on motivation. Yes. All right. Yep. So, you know, it feels great to set a goal, right? How did it feel, Eloy, when you set that goal and and you started doing it initially? How did it feel? Yeah. Well, I mean, it was hard, right? But uh, right. I, I felt good afterwards because you know I, I'm pushing myself do better so that yeah, feels great yeah on on the days you did it when you had that extra time and you you had time for yourself what did it feel like what were the benefits it gave to the rest of your life for, for not doing it now when you did it oh when i did it yeah when you actually oh, did mean, it yeah yeah and i felt good you know i, I felt much much more focused at work and uh just felt more happy like throughout the day Whereas, you know, I'd wake up on time and I'd be, you know, I, no one talked to me, right? I just woke up, you know. But, you know, yeah. waking up early, you're already up, you're about, you already did things. So it feels much better, yeah. It's just a positive momentum pushes you, right? What What were the reasons you stopped doing it? Was it tiredness? Was it lack of perspective? What do you think it was? Old habits, routine? Yeah, you know, just being lazy, just following a comfort comfortable routine where I didn't really push myself and, you know, kind of just systematic. Okay. Do you want to learn a technique I use that literally got me out of bed in a heartbeat where I used to just want to sleep into the last minute and get by by the seat of my pants? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Please. Share All the right. wealth. So this is all coming down to the number one mission that is within the whole humanity. So the number one purpose is oneness, to be aligned with ourselves, to be excited about our life. Right? But the number one mission is to perceive accurately. And that can even apply to when you're in bed, trying to get up. So here's, right. here's what happens, right? My old, tech, my old way when I drift and I wouldn't wake up, I wake up to the last moment and do the least amount, the minimal possible effort, right, to get by in the day, which is my good yeah. nature. What was what was going through my mind? It was like, oh, another day at work. Do I have to get up? How can I get away with this? 
Uh, when's at lunchtime? Thank goodness it's, it's Friday. I can't wait for the weekend. I'm hiding from work. I can't wait to sleep in. I want to sleep in more. I want to escape the day, right? How, how, how did I get out of that mindset? Well, I needed to then think about what I was most excited about with that day. If I get up at five, what is it going to give me? What is the gym going to give me? Okay. What do I want that time for? First, you got to start thinking what you want. Okay. I want to get to the gym and I want to have time to myself, maybe to meditate. Then you got to think of all the benefits that's going to give you, right? But before you give the heaven, if you do, you've got to reverse it and go, what's going to happen if I keep sleeping in every single morning and this becomes a habit? Yeah. How, am I going to feel about, how am I going to feel about myself? What is my productivity going to be at work? Okay, so I'm going to do this wee experiment with you now, right? We're going to have a bit of fun with this. So I want you to imagine you've woken up, right? And it's yeah. five. And the first feeling you get is the old feeling like, oh, do I have to get up, right? Imagine that that sweeps into you. Now I want you to ask yourself a question. The hell if I don't, what? If I keep this habit up, what is it going to impact on you if you don't get to the gym for the next year of your life? How are you going to feel? Probably terrible, man. Okay, and I want you to visualize that and imagine that, right? And that now, now I want you to visualize what is it going to be if you don't get any time for yourself in the morning, if you do the lowest hanging fruit and you do nothing? Right. How are you going to feel? Uh, sluggish, you know? And how is that going to impact how you feel about yourself at work? You know, the same way, you know, I feel like it's not going to be as productive. How is it going to impact your relationships that mean the most to you? I just, like I just try to uh, um, do it like minimalistic, you know, just or even try to avoid it if I can. Yeah. And tell me, how's it gonna? Is it gonna get you any promotions, or are you gonna are you gonna go backwards at work? I'm probably not. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right now, how motivated are you not to fall into this habit? Oh yeah, and a hundred percent, man. I mean, that's why I started doing it because I started right, just right. yeah reflecting on myself and that All was right, enough. So, so. We're not going to stop there. Now I'm going to give you the heaven if you do. So I want you to imagine how you're going to feel in a year's time if every day of every work, work day you've woken up and given yourself that extra hour. I couldn't tell you, man. I've never done it. But okay, I just carry on. Based off experience, you know, like yourself and a bunch of other people that do do it who are successful, it's, you know, it's just a part of the recipe. I feel like. Okay, forget the year. I want you to imagine if you did it for a whole week. How would you feel this time next week if you did it every day for a week this time next week? For a week, I mean, you'd feel good. Tired, probably, you know, sore and yeah. a little tired for waking up. But uh, I'd feel like more disciplined for sure because I'd have to go to sleep earlier, you know, than I than I, than I would yeah. normally would. And how will you feel about the benefits of how you're going to be at work? What do you think would change over time? Oh, I mean, I think a lot, man. Uh you know, these past couple of days, I've been uh, uh, working with a bunch of my colleagues than than I normally would on projects and stuff. So it's been it's been uh, it's been good so far. So I can only imagine what a week would do. What What do you think? How do you think you would be if all you changed this week was this? You woke up at five and you just ask yourself, "The hell if I don't, and the heaven if I do." And you imagine all the pain if you didn't, and all the pleasure if you did. What do you think would happen? Wait, say that one more time. If the only thing you change this week was you woke up at five and you ask yourself for five minutes, visualize if you didn't the pain you would feel and you visualize if you did all the good things that would happen. What do you think would happen? I, mean, I do that every morning, man. And sometimes it gets to me and I'm like, man, fuck it. I'll just go to sleep. I'll do it tomorrow. And other times I'm like, I just can't fall back to sleep. And I feel like that's when my body's telling me I need to wake up. But I feel like it's an everyday struggle, you know, like, yeah, you want to motivate yourself for, for those reasons. But at the same time, it's just, I don't have the discipline yet. Right. Right. So, so that it just means your mo your motivation isn't strong enough. So right. you, until you get to the point where those reasons are strong enough, the reasons for, getting out of bed that's what you got to create that pull so unless yeah. you you can build up the reasons 
So you've got to find enough reasons or strong enough reasons that motivate you physically, emotionally. So what's your highest priority outside of this? Probably uh, losing weight and gaining muscle. You know, getting a six pack. I've never had a six pack before. So how much would it motivate you if you knew that getting up and giving that time to yourself would result in that in six months time? I mean, it's hard because, you know, the results of that, you know, it's, it's slow, but, you know, I know it's just part of the work. So, so until you can get to the point where you feel pain enough, you can see yourself and it's creating that pain and you can see yourself getting out and the pleasure until you can create that desire. You've got to stay in your mind until you feel that, that motivation. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I agree. Um, so the, the leading indicator that I would get you to experiment with would be focus on the first thing. When you hear your alarm, focus the very thing, the want, the greatest thing you want in that day. Right, whether it's the six pack, whether it's the energy at work, whether it's promotion. And what was it for you? For me, that got me up. Yeah. Like for me, it was both. I used the pain and the pleasure. I, I literally, I literally started visualizing, man, I could just drift my life along and I'm gonna feel worse and worse about myself. I'm gonna be more and more out of shape. I'm gonna feel a low self-esteem. I'm gonna feel the depression. Yeah. So in order for, like, literally, it took me a whole month to rewrite my whole thinking. And here's how I did it. I learned about empowering questions. And I simply asked these two questions each morning. So my default mindset was, why do I have to get out of bed? The first time I learned to them, I, I had to set the alarm and I had to reach over to the questions and ask these two questions. What am I grateful for and why? All right? Spend five minutes on these two questions. And what am I excited about and why? So name three things I'm grateful for. Okay. So the first week I had I to like literally that. force myself out to pick up these questions, right? And go over them, right? Guess what? By the second week, I didn't have to force myself. I go, oh yeah, I've got to ask these questions, right? And by the third week, guess what? I was not only asking the questions, I was already answering them, right? right. And guess what happened? By, guess what happened by the fourth week? Yeah, it's just... I, I wasn't even answering them. I was, feeling, I was feeling the emotion. Yeah. So I would change my default feeling, my default mood about life. That's the power of, you're in control of reconditioning your mind, but it might not feel like that at the start. You go through the unpleasant period for that first month and then the game changes. Then you automatically get pulled out of bed. Right? Yeah. Now I get, automatically I get pulled out of bed. I don't have to force myself out. I don't have to push myself out. I get pulled out with my desire for life. But you've got to recondition your mind. It can happen, but there's that teething period. So what will be interesting to find out in your self-talk is what's your default question at the moment? Is it, why do I have to get out of work? You know, what, what is your default questioning underneath the surface? Yeah, no, I, I love that idea of writing it down and reading those questions to yourself every morning. I think that, that that'll make a big difference. So here's a suggestion, right? You don't have to do this, but I'm going to suggest this to you as something that's changed my life, right? Yeah. For this week, for this week, just set your alarm at the time you want to wake up or just before uh -huh. and just go, the only task I have to do is to read out these two questions for five minutes and give answers. So name three things you're grateful for and why and three things you're excited about and why. For, for that day or for that week or for and, what? Well, well, you can do, like, I like to do it for the day, the week, and then long term. But you can oh, do it for the, the day. Three. Yeah, it, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't That's matter. Good. You can do it for the day, whatever. But I like to think of right now, the week, because it gives me something even greater to look forward to. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Would you oh, like to make that? You go, we don't have to, but I'm, I'm just saying this is what's changed my that's life. Gonna be, that's going to be my second, that's gonna be my goal this week is that. Awesome. Write down the, those two questions, answer them every day. Okay, fantastic. Salsa, do you want to write that, that in, that, yes. uh, that leading indicator? Write down two questions. So the, the, cool, the cool thing about this, um, um, Eloy, is that you don't, we're not asking you to do 100 things. We're, all we have to do is just the one thing, but we want to find the one thing that makes all the difference.
It's yeah, the change um, that creates the change. Yep. And that's what we're going to select this week. So, Salsa, shall we come Love up that. with our, our goals? Yes. And I've been making progress on tracking my macros. You know, it, it's a fun game, Eloy. Like, we've all been in those situations too. And then you're going to start tweaking things up and, and seeing how you can improve. And that's kind of where I'm at, where I want to track my macros so I can build more muscle. You're going to see a lot of progress once you really get consistent and do some of these teachings Gus talks about. You're going to really gain a lot of muscle and progress in your first three months. You're going to, that is where you get the newbie gains that are just awesome. Um, so for me, what I'm going to do after this meeting is implement these goals of planning my meals the day before tracking them. And, uh, and that way I can have them ready for tomorrow. So I wrote that down already. What about yourself, Gus? Okay. Um, my goal is literally, I'm going to set a batching time for each day. And I'm going to, this time I'm going to commit to planning the day, the day before, because this has changed my life and visualizing that day before. Um, and what I'm going to do to ensure that is I'm going to set an alarm on my phone for 45 every day to ensure that this stays planned perfect perfect well um i really always get a lot from these sessions too i know eloy we got your goal for next week it's gonna be the same time and till then have a great week guys see y'all later